We're now going to play Love Somebody, which is a duet. It's on page 9, number 26. I'm going to play that um, using my flute, but I wanted to show you something real quickly on the trumpet. If you play trumpet, um, you'll notice that it asks the question, are you extending the third valve slide on all Ds? The note D on the trumpet is a little bit just naturally out of tune, just has to do with the way the instrument is built. And so you have um, where your ring finger usually goes, a little um, loop. Mine is missing, um, but I need to get that replaced. But what you do is you put the ring in there and you pull it out whenever you play D so that it comes out, I would say, probably about that far. You know, try that. Um, and it'll just make it a little more in tune. Every time you play a D, you, you extend your finger out and then you bring it back in for the other notes. So you might want to try that going back and forth between, you know, C and D or D and E, you know, until you get used to that. Um, I've been to make it in tune trying to just do it with my lips, but really you want to use that. You want to use that. And, and it's a good idea to go ahead and, and get used to that, okay? But um, I don't have, I need to get mine fixed. Um, so I'm going to play my flute on this song, but yes, on all D's you want to do that, okay, um, for trumpets. For flutes, um, I'm just going to pick up my flute, and we're going to do what we always do, which is finger um, the notes, note names, and so forth. Um, you'll look, just looking at the duet, let's see. You'll see, yes, sorry, I wanted to check something. You'll see that um, we kind of take turns a lot at the beginning. Group A will play, and then group B will play, and then A will play, and B will play, and then we play together, which is kind of cool the way they did that, and then we repeat. All right, but for right now, let's just say the note names um, one time through. All right, here we go on Love Somebody. One, oh, two, oh, slow one, tempo. two, ready, play. Do the A line. Then we rest. Because right now we just want to do that one time. Of course, for flutes, we don't want to lift our fingers up or Claire and anybody. We don't want to lift them up because then we can't find our, our way back. Um, my flute has holes in the keys. That's not the one I usually play in class. This is the one I usually play elsewhere. Um, but we know flutes that it's hard to go from C to D. That's like the hardest thing. And the, the way to make it easier is to do what I'm doing. Right? I'm not going... Because then it's just, that's just like, where do my fingers go? All right, so try to keep your fingers hovering over the keys. All right, okay, that is harder at first, but it will definitely, definitely make it easier. Okay, and some of you have realized that already, so yay. All right, okay, so now we're going to play it. We'll play it with the repeat. We're playing line A. Here we go. <clears throat> Play. Uh, sorry, just a second. I think one, okay, two, here. ready, play. One, two, three, four. Um, try it a little bit faster. One, 
if it lets us. One, two, uh, uh. one, two. Here we go. Ready, play. <laughs> Are you ready for part B? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, we're gonna do part B the same way. Um, slowly, slowly. Part B, part B. All right, well, I guess, hang on. We're gonna say the note names, right? But we're gonna rest the first measure. Remember that, rest the first measure. Um, here we go back to the slower tempo. Just moving our fingers and saying the note names. One, two, ready, play. Rest. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now rest. One, two, three, four. 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 I'm going to stop it now. We're playing it at, at sort of the slower tempo. This time we will repeat. Okay, this time we will repeat. Playing line B. All right, here we go. One, two, oh, we ready, rest first. Play. One, two, You ready to try it a little faster? Let's do it. Here we go. Just a second. One, two, ready. Oh, we're gonna play. rest. One, two. Repeat. 